Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn the Hershey and Chase experiment. This is second video in the chapter Molecular Basis of Inheritance. So let's understand this experiment by Hershey and Chase. They proved that DNA is invariably the genetic material. How did they do it? Let's learn. Before we start, we should know a few things. And first and foremost thing is that bacteriophages are viruses which has the capacity to attack bacteria. And that's why we call them as bacteriophage. Alright. And once they attack it, they pass their genetic material into the bacteria. But as of now, when Hershey and Chase did their experiment, they are not sure whether it is the genetic material is DNA or protein. So what they did was, they, and they knew that DNA contains, or if the genetic material is DNA, it contains phosphor and sulfur is present in protein. So that is the indicator for DNA or protein. How is, the indicate, how is it the indicator? Let's learn. So what they did was they grew virus for many generations, first set of virus for many generations in a medium containing radioactive sulfur. Second set they grew for many generation on medium containing phosphorus. After that, they made set 1 to attack a group of bacteria, set 2 ba bacteriophage or the virus to attack the second set of bacteria. Now, what should be the inference? Whichever is the genetic material, that is, if protein is the genetic material, sulfur should be present in the bacteria. If DNA is the genetic material, Phosphorus, which is radioactive, both in ca both cases radioactive phosphor should be present in the bacteria. Once they allowed the bacteriophage to attack the bacteria, for, after some time they centrifuged it and took out the contents and checked for the contents. Now what should be the inference again? If at all DNA is the genetic material, the radioactive phosphor should be found in the bacteria. If protein is the genetic material, radioactive sulfur should be found in the bacteria. And what did they find? They found out that radioactive phosphorus was detected in the cells, which indicated that DNA is the genetic material. The leftover supernatant had no radioactivity in this case. In the other case, sulfur is not found in the cell. That means DNA is the genetic material, protein is not. Okay, so hence they proved that DNA is invariably the genetic material which the virus could transfer into the bacteria. I hope it is clear. I'll see you in the next video with structure of DNA. Double helix model. Thank you.